Good afternoon everybody. So it's Monday afternoon 27th of April, first day back to school for term two. First day back for staff at least. Um, and a reminder that any students returning to school, they start back from Wednesday this week, Wednesday the 29th. So a big shout out to all of our critters, we miss you heaps. We hope that you are enjoying a little bit of freedom in the backyard and the front yard. We know how hard it is for you kids not being able to meet up with your friends, not being able to go to the park, all those sorts of things. So we're thinking of you. Um, we know it's very difficult. So do your best, engage with your schoolwork now that we're starting again this term. But just try and you know look out for yourself, look out for mums and dads, all those sorts of um, people in your life who are taking care of you and doing their best to make sure that your life's as normal as possible. So we do miss you and we look forward to having you back at school as quickly as we can get you here. School is open, so kids come back to school Wednesday. Um, the government's advice on that is that from week three, um, they're encouraging students to come back for one day a week. Weeks one and two, we operate on the existing advice that um, students are sent only if you have no other option. Now I remind everybody though that school is safe, school's clean. We have very, very strict hygiene protocols in the school. No one from outside is getting past the front gate unless they're a member of staff or a student. At point of entry into the school, everybody is washed down. We have ample supplies of cleaners, soap, water, all those things that we know when used properly, contribute to containing the spread of this virus. So we welcome back any student who comes to school. We have a full staff on site. Our st staff are here, they're working, they're putting together those work packs which are here in front of me, but they're also available to be teaching face to face. And we know that students being at school, engaged in face to face learning is the best way for them to learn. We're going to be sending out a survey this afternoon after we finish with this video and we're asking for your input. We need to know from parents and carers what you want from your school. We all know what's going on in the media with conflicting advice, social distancing with kids, not being able to go to playgrounds but they can come to school, all of that mixed messaging and we know that's difficult for everybody, it's difficult for us. And I remind you that the health advice that's existing for the community to engage with is the same health advice that we're receiving from health and from the education department. That if children come to school, they are safe. Social distancing will be observed here at Cobar Public School, but the health department's advice on that is clear that children are not from where, where this virus is spreading through. Our staff are clean, they didn't go away during the holidays, they're all back at work today and we know that as a staff we're not going to be transmitting. So the reminder is there that school is open, school is safe and the kids will learn best being in front of a teacher. So that's what the survey will focus on, hearing from you as the parents and carers what days you would send your children. We will ask about weeks one and two, starting from Wednesday through till Friday of next week. And then there's separate questions around uh, what days you would want to send your children to school for weeks three and four. We need everybody to engage with that survey so that we have data to enable us to plan and provide the best educational options for our kids. We don't want a situation where a heap of kids turn up and we didn't know they were coming because that will not allow us to provide the best education that we can. We're hearing from a lot of parents over the holidays that they wish to send their kids to school. That decision rests with you as the parents. We're sending the survey out so that we can, as best as possible, understand what your decisions are. We'd ask that you engage with that survey and return it to us, please, by close of business this Friday. And then that will help us plan for the rest of, well, the next four weeks and beyond. The situation is very fluid. It's been changing 
every few days. We know that, we understand the difficulty that parents and carers face in, de in deciphering information and making informed decisions. So I reiterate that school is open, students can attend if you choose that that's the best option for you and your students, your children. So please, have a look at the survey, complete it, return it. Now, we will also, as I said in the last video, be switching on the SMS messaging system for attendance on Wednesday morning. We will ask for you to engage with us and let us know when and uh, via SMS, via Class Dojo, via a phone call to the school if your child is absent. I went through that in a bit more detail in the previous videos and in text versions, so I won't say much more about that. But the survey doesn't replace contact with us via dojo, SMS or a phone call if your child, children aren't going to be attending school. We have policy obligations and child protection obligations through which we have to account for the whereabouts of kids how they're engaging with the work that's provided to them and their overall welfare. So we will be contacting you via phone if your children aren't here. We, need, we will be following up regularly if you choose not to send your kids to school. We are clean. There's no dramas there. We've got plenty of supplies of everything that we need. Uh, last video I said that we hadn't changed the day that we're sending out the work packs we've rethought that. Based on the feedback that we've had over the holidays, we anticipate quite a few students attending from Wednesday onwards. So we've decided to delay the distribution of the work packs until Wednesday. We're doing that so that we don't send out work packs to then have a child attend the next day. We will wait, see who arrives on Wednesday, and then we'll jump in the bus and go out to homes of those students who haven't attended on the Wednesday and we'll distribute those work packs. With that in mind, um, we will also be in a position to pick up any existing work packs that haven't yet been returned to us. So if you'd like to have those work packs come back to the school and you haven't sent them in already, label them in a bag, leave them at your front door, outside of course, and we'll pick them up we'll bring them back into school and we'll get on to marking those for you. We're in a bit of a dark area as to how we're going to progress. We need your feedback to be able to ascertain what's best for us to do for you. We're in the dark, as I say. It's a very fluid situation. We're, we've got plans A through G. There's a number of, number of plans in the works depending on your feedback and your decisions about what you want to do with your children. For parents who decide that they will send their child, pick up and drop off. Once we start to get a, a larger volume of kids back, we will organise with families different pick-up points for the afternoon. It's not such an issue of a morning with the drop-off. We'd encourage you to kiss and go as it's being termed. Farewell them from the car, drop them off, drive away. Next person pulls up. We maintain that same point of entry clean, cleaning and hygiene routine. So the morning, it's not such an issue. Afternoons for the pickup though, once we achieve a volume of students coming back to school, we'll work with families and designate different pickup points around the school. More information about that later on, but for anybody with concerns about how that might operate and concerns about the social distancing, we have plans in place to alleviate those concerns. We'll designate different pickup points around the school and we can have all of the children in an individual family in a location, you pick them up, you keep moving. So if you're going to choose to return one day a week from week uh, three onwards, with our school numbers, we're anticipating that we would be able to service our kids in a safe and clean environment over three working days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Again, grey area because we don't know who's coming, who's not. That's why we need you to engage with the survey. But we're still for a while going to need to balance the um, work at home and the work at school. So 
we will be allocating a day in that week, each week, for a family group to attend the school so that all siblings in a particular family can attend on the one day and we will have staffing in place to cater for each stage being on school each day. We have, say, 220 kids in the school. Um, having a third, 33% attend on any given day puts us at about 70%, uh, 70 kids attending. We've got plenty of room to cater for that number. We might not get that many. We're looking at having a third per day if that's the route you choose to take, if it's only the one day a week. We can separate them up, we can keep them clean. We will be teaching from the single work pack. We won't be doing any different work in the school, but we will be able to extend the work. We'll be able to deliver that work in a more normal manner teachers are best place to teach the kids. So we will get information out to everybody later this week into the beginning of next week once we've got a better idea of what you as the school community want to do. So we're, as I say we're looking at that three day a week that's based on our numbers. You'll hear from the department and in the media from um, the media itself what should or shouldn't happen around schools. Remember that we're a system of 2,207 schools and what works in Cobar isn't the same as what might work in Sydney or Wollongong or any of those big metropolitan centres. So we're looking at what will work for us as a school community. Keep that in mind please when you're making your decisions. Think about where we are as a, as a town, how we are positioned as a school community to support our kids and everything else that I've run through already in the video here. So please, please, the message is engage with the survey. Let us know what you want to do. We need that engagement so that we can plan to offer the best educational options for the kids. As I said, it'll close on Friday this week, but we'd encourage everybody to um, engage with it as quickly as possible, get it back to us. Uh, it's coming out via SurveyMonkey, the link will be on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel. I will put up a text version again of everything that I've run through here today. Um, I don't know if I can put a link to the survey into that text version, but certainly it'll be there on Facebook and on um, the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, call me. School's open. I'm here. Our whole staff are here, as I said before. I'm able to answer individual questions that you might have. Um, you can email those through to the school account as well. You can put them through to teachers via Dojo. But if you've got questions, it's probably best to put them through to me. Um, I've got all of the answers, so to speak. That's what they're paying me the big bucks for at this point in time. We know it's a difficult time for you as parents and carers. Um, the longer this stretches on with no return to school, the more difficult it becomes. And we're very, very conscious of the disengagement with the school, with learning, and we want to have as smooth a return to normalcy as we can. So please, as I said, engage with the survey, let us know what you want to do, and we'll work with those responses. Hi again to the kids, the whole staff say hi, we wish you the best, we look forward to seeing you as soon as we can. Thank you.